New Seven Wonders of the World 2000 was a campaign started in 2000 to choose wonders of the world from a selection of 200 existing monuments. The popularity poll was led by Canadian Swiss Bernard Weber and organized by the New Seven Wonders Foundation based in Zurich, Switzerland, with winners announced on the 7th of July 2007 in Lisbon. The New Seven Wonders Foundation said that more than 100 million votes were cast through the internet or by telephone. Voting via the Internet was limited to one vote for seven monuments per person, identity, but multiple voting was possible through telephone. Hence the poll was considered unscientific. According to John Zogby, founder and current president, CEO of the Utica, New York-based polling organization Zogby International, New Seven Wonders Foundation drove the largest poll on record. The program drew a wide range of official reactions. Some countries touted the finalist and tried to get more votes cast for it, while others downplayed or criticized the contest. After supporting the new Seven Wonders Foundation at the beginning of the campaign by providing advice on nominee selection, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization UNESCO, by its bylaws having to record all and give equal status to World Heritage Sites, distanced itself from the undertaking in 2001 and again in 2007. The new Seven Wonders Foundation, established in 2001, relied on private donations and the sale of broadcast rights and received no public funding or taxpayers' money. After the final announcement, New Seven Wonders said it didn't earn anything from the exercise and barely recovered its investment. Although N7W describes itself as a not for profit organization, the company behind it the New Open World Corporation NOWC, is a commercial business. All licensing and sponsorship money is paid to NOWC. The foundation ran two subsequent programs, New Seven Wonders of Nature, the subject of voting until 2011, and New Seven Wonders Cities, which ended in 2014. Topic. Winners The Great Pyramid of Giza, largest and oldest of the three pyramids at the Giza necropolis in Egypt and the only surviving of the original Seven Wonders of the Ancient World, was granted honorary status. Reactions United Nations In 2007, the new Seven Wonders Foundation contracted a partnership with the United Nations in recognition of the efforts to promote the UN's Millennium Development Goals. The UN posted on its website, the new Seven Wonders campaigns aim to contribute to the process of uplifting the well-being and mutual respect of citizens around the world, through encouraging interaction, expression opinion and direct participation by voting and polling on popular global issues which are understandable to everyone. However, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, in a press release on June 20, 2007, reaffirmed that it has no link with the private initiative. The press release concluded, There is no comparison between Mr. Weber's mediatized campaign and the scientific and educational work resulting from the inscription of sites on UNESCO's World Heritage List. The list of the eight new wonders of the world will be the result of a private undertaking, reflecting only the opinions of those with access to the Internet and not the entire world. This initiative cannot, in any significant and sustainable manner, contribute to the preservation of sites elected by this public. <laughs> Brazil In Brazil there was a campaign vote No Cristo vote for the Christ which had the support of private companies, namely telecommunications operators that stopped charging voters to make telephone calls and SMS messages to vote. 
Additionally, leading corporate sponsors including Banco Bradesco and Reed Globo spent millions of reals in the effort to have the statue voted into the top seven. Newsweek reports the campaign was so pervasive that One morning in June, Rio de Janeiro residents awoke to a beeping text message on their cell phones. Press 4916 and vote for Christ. It's free. The same pitch had been popping up all over the city since late January. Flashing across an electronic screen every time city dwellers swiped their transit cards on city buses and echoing on TV infomercials that featured a reality show celebrity posing next to the city's trademark Christ the Redeemer statue. According to an article in Newsweek, around 10 million Brazilians had voted in the contest by early July. This number is estimated as the new Seven Wonders Foundation never released such details about the campaign. An airplane message, with a huge inscription, 4,916 vote for Christ, flew in Rio de Janeiro for a month. Topic. Peru An intensive campaign led by the Peruvian Ministry of Commerce and Tourism in Peru had a great impact in the media and consequently Peruvian people voted massively for its national wonder. The announcement of the New World Wonders generated great expectation and the election of Machu Picchu was celebrated nationwide. Chile The Chilean representative for Easter Island's MOAIs, Alberto Hotis, said Weber gave him a letter saying that the MOAIs had finished eighth and were morally one of the new Seven Wonders. Hotis said he was the only participant to receive such an apology. India. A campaign to publicize the Taj Mahal in India gathered speed and it reached a climax in July 2007 with news channels, radio stations, and many celebrities asking people to vote for the Taj Mahal. <inaudible> Jordan Queen Rania al-Abdullah of Jordan joined the campaign to back Petra, Jordan's national treasure. Mexico There was a campaign on the news programs to encourage people to vote for Chichen Itza. Other finalists. The other 13 finalists, listed alphabetically, were